Welcome to the talk. I'm Lakshmi Karthanath. Today we're going to meet someone very special who's made it her personal commitment in her life to spread awareness about cancer. And that is Yuta Arawahi. And of course she's going to tell us about all the events that are being held for everyone's benefit. Mobile unit is one example. And now you can see the table and the chairs. In a few more minutes they're going to be filled once again to come and use. The ladies are going to be here. Let's go meet Yuthar Arawahi. And here we are with Honorable Yuthar Arawahi, member of the Madras Adola, and of course the chairperson and the honorary member, founder Found of uh, Oman Cancer Association. Yes. So this is a mobile unit, yes. and this is what has been traveling around and will be traveling around yes. until the 28th, yes. where the where walkathon, walkathon will happen. The walkathon. Lakshmi, first of all, thank you very much for coming to take a video of this beautiful car. Now, we placed it from, the, from Saturday last week. It has been here in the mall. And you know women go to the mall with their kids. Anyone who's the age of 40 just walks in, has their mammogram, 15 minutes, they're given a disc and they walk out. It will be here until Friday night. Then it's going to move to MGM, Muscat Grand Mall, for a week. And then it will go to the Coram Park for a day, where it's going to be the whole day on the 20th during the walk. But even otherwise, the mobile unit travels around Oman. Yes, the mobile unit does not stay in the capital area. It is made to travel around, right around Oman to Salala and to Bremi. At the end of the, normally we time it so that it's here in October. And when my radiographer goes on leave, we normally keep it in the capital area and we send it to the health centers of the capital oh, area. Okay, so it's yeah. always running. Yes, it is running all the time unless it has to be serviced. Yeah. This year, after it's been going for three years, we need to refurbish, we need to be refurbish the floor, the upholstery. So the December, it will not be going around the health centers. It will be going to the, to the, to the garage where it is going to be refurbished for the whole month. I also... I almost think that the mobile unit needs a name. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a mobile unit. It's a woman. Uh, it's a woman service unit. Woman mammography unit. Okay, yeah. MMU. So really, we we are we're happy with it. Alhamdulillah. We want to thank all our corporates. It was a big dream come true. It was a reality come true. It took seven years to raise just over just under five hundred thousand riyals. We want to thank all our corporate uh, stakeholders who supported us and who are still support supporting us to maintain it. But I think we need more than one mobile because really? now it is four years and we have already viewed over 31,000 women. 31,000 women have been viewed and do you think um, it's enough or should women be more confident and uh, do you feel like women shy away that you're told you can come do a free mammogram mm. and people say I don't want to know? No, they don't want to know because of fear of knowing. But the others will be surprised when we go to the interior. All the women are waiting for us in the health centers because we normally let them know a week before. We okay. write to the DG, we write to the Wali, the Women Association. So they're expecting us. Mm -hmm. And we can view 20 women a day. So each health center is there for a week. And now every time we go back, we contact the women so they can come back, those who want to come back. Some decide we don't have anything, we don't need to come back. Okay. But there is a lot of stigma still. But I think now they're more receptive, they're more empowered over the years after seeing the mobile Wali can do and what we have done for them. So I think we are really, really opt optimistic. You thought, did you ever feel that, you know, uh, the mobile unit, the MMU has been there to protect and detect cases much before it could be complicated. Of course, Lakshmi. These women, the 11,000 women, would never have had a mammogram, first of all. Secondly, those who are found out of the 11,000, we don't want to find even one woman with breast cancer. Yes. But those that were found through them, about 20, 25, they wouldn't have had, by the time they would have known, it would have been in an advanced stage. Okay. So really, we did save lives, yes. But we want to save more lives because one mobile cannot go all the time throughout the year. It costs 30000 to service the unit every year. Beside the salaries, the petrol, and the running, and you know, run, running, and the and the drivers of the MMU. So really, it's getting older now. So in other words, in four years, yes. we have detected early cases. Yes. Twenty-five. Yes. But there are, I'm sure there are more. But the yeah. thing is, what they do is they come to us. We refer them to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Some of them do not come back with the results, okay. and unfortunately, the royal does not give us the results. Uh, so really, we get only those who come back to us. It could be more. Because we know we have a lot who have gone for, for further uh, investigation, yes. that is ultrasound. But the good news is that now we've purchased our own ultrasound. Okay, 
so you can now, take care of it next here. month we will be able to carry out the to see the, to do the ultrasound of the women in the in the association Okay, so you, Yutar is going to show us yes. how it works. So everyone can just come here, uh, wherever the mobile unit is. Yes. Otherwise, it's even there at the center. Yes, at the center. It's hardly there a lot. It's okay. usually it's in between. Yeah. It's moving around. So from Friday, from Saturday, as I said, it will be a GM. People with MGM, it, they walk through. We can have six women staying inside. The rest can wait outside. Uh, Bindo here is our radiographer. Mm -hmm. And we have actually the secretary, who, a coordinator who registers them. They fill a form that they know what they're doing and that we can use the results for research. They walk in, they come in here, they just take their top. You don't need to undress completely. We don't, we don't have gowns or anything. Okay. We close the curtain. Yeah. They have their, they have, they have yes. their, the window explains to them how to put their breasts. The machine takes the views and then Bindo checks the views. They wait outside for 10 minutes, less than 15 minutes. They have a CD, which we give to every, which we give to every woman who lives here, a copy of the, a copy of the view of the, of the, of the memogram. Okay. They can send it anywhere in the world. They can't read it at home. It has to be a doctor who reads it for second opinion, or whatever. And they can keep this for further investigation or for, for you know, as a history of their memogram. Thank you. Thank you, Lakshmi. So ladies, empower yourself to avail this free service and you know yourself that you have taken the first step forward for your own health. And everyone in the family can participate and spread more awareness, especially for the cure, by participating at the Walkathon on October 28th at Coram Nature Park, 4 p.m. I'm Lakshmi Karthanath, thanking you for joining us on The Talk.